and welcome to this week's energy forecast. My name is Laura Fleming and if you're new here, every week I talk about the energy for the week ahead and though this guidance is pointed towards what we're facing right now as a collective, I also would suggest at any time if you're looking for guidance to kind of scroll through what I have created thus far and trust what you feel called to listen to. So the topic that I'm going to speak on right now is that we practice what we already know. That oftentimes we're recreating patterns that we learned from childhood where how many times have you been like, I'm not going to be like my mom. I'm not going to be like my dad. And then you're going, Hey honey. Oh my God. I sound like my mom. Oh my gosh. I just did that. Just like my dad. We practice patterns that are familiar to us that we already know. So something came to me earlier that I was, I realized as a kid, my mom was sick. I, you know, in my family, it was kind of like, everything's fine. We're going to make it through. We're going to make it work. No matter what goes on, everything's going to be all right. You know, dad's smart. Mom's well taken care of by all the doctors. Things are running. Mom's showing face. She's the, she's the, you know, mother in the classroom kind of thing. Like everything appeared to be normal, although nothing was normal. None of my friends were going through what I was going through, but in my family, it was all were normal and we didn't talk about what was going on. It was like, okay, we're facing this and we're moving on. Okay. Um, and that was a wonderful survival technique, but it also taught me to, to not communicate, to not really talk about what's going on or what I'm feeling. So I practiced that for a really long time and recently have been encouraged or challenged, whatever way you want to spin that, to have to speak up for myself, have to communicate how I feel. So we, we practice what we know. And this realization came to me that this was, you know, in my friend groups, again, most of my friends, all of my friends weren't going through what I was going through. Granted, they were going through their own version of stuff with their family. I very much so felt like what I was going through, since we're not talking about it at home so much, about cancer and what this could be like and, you know, mom's care and like this is kind of scary for us. Um, I didn't do that with my friends either. I very much so played the... How can I help you? What do you need? What's going on in your life? Always kind of deflecting because that was what was practiced around me. And you know, I'm not blaming my parents. I'm not blaming anyone in my life. I do believe that people are always doing the very best that they can with what they have, what they've been taught, so on and so forth. And I know that's a pretty vague kind of umbrella to put over everybody, but it's generally what I believe. So though I wasn't taught to communicate, though I've been practicing kind of keeping my shit together for lack of a better term and always being there for somebody else and never really reflecting on my stuff or asking for help or support, having practiced that for so long, you do get to a point in your personal evolution, whether you're feeling this right now or you felt this in the past or there's some sort of like discomfort going on in you and you start looking around and going, are we not a good match? Is this job not right for me? But before you change a job, before you leave your partner, before you change anything, I take a good look at what you've been practicing in that role. And I'm not a big encourager of focusing on what isn't working, but this is a nice little exercise to practice. So. Write down everything you hate about that current situation and you know, get it all out there. Then from that place of like understanding that I really don't like this, if you could have the magical solution, what would that feel like? Maybe it's the exact opposite of what you're currently facing or maybe there's just some little tweaks here. For example, I've had a little knee, hip, foot situation going on. I practice writing. I really dislike being in pain. I really dislike not feeling free to move my body in the way that I want to move it. I really dislike being um, in this kind of sense of a problem when I have other things going on and I want to be exercising the way I want to be exercising. So 
I really like let myself let a rip there and then I stepped back and I said okay well from that problem what am I really clear about I love feeling free in my body I love having a body I love having a healthy well-functioning body I love feeling ease in my movements I love feeling I'm not contained in any way. I can do anything. I can run, I can bike, I can fight, I can grapple, I can do yoga, I can rest, I can do Reiki, I can do the whole spectrum of things that I enjoy doing. That feels so good to me. It feels easy. And so focusing on the problem temporarily helped me really get clear on what I do want. This then led to, this is kind of the next level once you're clear on what you want it's like okay well how do i get there how do i create ease in my movements how do i find this not painless but how do i feel good in my body again so this is where we have to trust what we sense trust your senses trust what you feel I decided um, to go lay down, I was eating something, and I laid down on my stomach, and normally I kind of like put my feet behind me like this, and instead I splayed them out like this, and I was like, oh, that's kind of tight in my hips, a little bit uncomfortable, but then I noticed like, oh, it's loosening up, it actually feels really good, and then I was like, huh, I'm gonna Google what is the muscle, it's not the hip flexor, but it's not the knee, but it's connected to the knee, like what's going on here? So I do some Googling and I find these groin stretches and it's like how to find out if you have a groin injury, maybe from running, maybe from, right, all these things. And the things that I do, jujitsu, fighting, um, running, biking, all of that, to do with this area so I google it I find some stuff I do some groin stretches and all of a sudden my knee starts to hurt a little less my hip starts to loosen up a bit and maybe you're like oh that's a coincidence well I'm not a believer in coincidences I'm a believer in attraction energy attracts like energy I was in a problem I was for the past week or so then I decided that I wanted to focus on what the solution felt like. I focus there for a little bit of time. I make my food. I'm going to eat. I don't often lay on the floor when I'm eating, but I decided to. And then I it, it was guided to stretch my leg like this, which I've never done before. To what am I saying? That there's some God saying, move your foot like, it's not like that. It's, I feel. I sense I should go over there. I sense I want to lay down. I sense I want to put my feet out like this. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Actually, it's feeling better. Huh, huh, let me Google this, right? It's like one thing leads to another and leads to another. You can trust the way you feel, but first you have to get clear on that, right? That's the first step, getting clear on how do I feel? Because we get really caught up in the stories of our lives. This person hurt me, they did that. My husband never treats me the way I want to be treated. Well. Let's talk about that. Are you communicative? Are you clear yourself on what you want? Are you speaking to your husband about what the things are that you want from a, a place of, of lack and need? Or are you getting to the point and being really clear, you know, this is how I feel, this is what I need. Like, where are you on that? And, and this is where we need to first communicate clearly and honestly to ourselves and another thing give yourself a damn break i know that you want things done i know that you want to feel better i know that you want your job to pan out i know that you want stuff that you don't have right in this moment i hear that i feel you and we're just not quite at that point in time where the solution's ready to pop. There is a process to all things. It's like when someone gets pregnant, they're like, I want the baby now. And it's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You want the process to unfold, right? We, we if you know, you got engaged and you're like, I want to get married tomorrow. And it's like, but do you? Because think about all the things you have to do before tomorrow. That is overwhelming and no one likes to feel overwhelmed. So let's take a look at what's going on inside of you. Not the story, not the drama of it. Not saying that's not 
not okay to have. Of course, we have it. We're human. I get it. I'm with you on that. And I think we're in the mode of wanting some solutions. And there is a new phase being ushered in for all of us right now. So there was probably, maybe you're still feeling a little bit of the shift, but we're entering this new phase. So what's up for you right now? What's like that hot button for you right now? Cause that's up and it's not up to torture you. It's up because it's ready to shift again. And I just got finished with a Reiki student um, it was day two, uh, Reiki one, actually both Reiki one and Reiki two are a two day excursion, if you will. And we just finished up with day two and I don't know what I was going to say about this, but what's coming to my mind now is that there is this process, right? You, you're learning these hand positions, you're you're learning different names, you're hearing different things that you haven't heard before. And this is like so far off of where I was going before. But when you're learning anything new, there's like the beginning phase to it. And you have to get clear on, okay, beginner of Reiki. Beginner, I, that means that I'm not gonna know how to do it. It's gonna take up a certain amount of bandwidth that maybe I'm not quite prepared for or I'm surprised by. It's new, new motions, it's new sensing. It's like a whole new world, a whole new phase. And to know that no matter what you're facing right now, Again, stuff comes up because you're ready to deal with it. You're ready to process it in a way that you haven't before. To say that it's gonna be like all done and cleaned up, no. But it's just part of the process you're in where it's showing its head again for you to continue to dissect is a strong word, but kind of peel apart, look at it again from your now self. Because remember, you're always evolving. You're always a new you. Every time an issue that's like an old issue that's showing up again, it's like it's not really an old issue. It's an issue that continues to show up in your experience, but you're a new you every time you witness it again. And I hope this is making sense. I am a little reiki up right now. I've received reiki from my student and what a beautiful experience that was. Um, so with this new phase, being very deliberate with identifying what's up for me right now. What am I feeling? What am I facing with this feeling? Right? Because you could be feeling angry, mad, sad, um, regretful, but it's like, well, what is the most dominant feeling that I'm feeling? And, and what is it that is on the opposite end of this? What is on the solution side of this problem I see before me? What is the feeling that I'm really trying to conjure here? Because as much as we feel like our problems are about specific people or places or things. They're honestly just the button pressers. They're like, boop, I'll activate that in you, for you, for your growth, for your healing. So what you're facing is for you. It's not for someone else to resolve on your behalf because you deserve it because you're a good human. I'm kind of being like, not rude, but like, Yes, you're a good person, but that doesn't mean people will treat you a certain way. You're a good person, so you have to have better boundaries. You have to hold the line, and when someone crosses it, you need to say, excuse me, back up right there, thank you very much. That, that's your job. It's not up to anyone else in your life to respect, rather, to hold your boundary, to understand that, oh, that's your line, I'll hold it for you. No, that's up to you. And if someone's crossed your line, if you continue to allow them to cross that line, you keep getting pushed back. You just keep taking steps backwards and it. So you're like, ah, oh, and you kind of attack because you feel like you crossed my line way too many times. No, but you let them. That's you, boo. That's you doing that. And 
okay? We own our part in it. I totally let them push me, push me, push me to the edge and now I've got to push back and I feel vengeful and angry and okay, but this is about me. This is about my healing, my learning, my growth, my ability to nurture myself, my ability to hear myself. When I'm hurting, I've got to listen to me. I've got to take the time to go to a farm and enjoy some sunflowers and some fruit and I've got to do that for me. Or I've got to show up to therapy. I've got to make that change. I've got to address my stuff for me. And thank you, people of the world, for pressing my buttons so I'm aware of where I could use some tending to in an attempt to find not like this great sense of peace or uh, I'm finished with life, I'm finished with figuring stuff out, but instead, it, it, it's an encouragement to continue to find the balance in the ever flowing stream of life. To, to find the balance within yourself that you're developing this character, this, this aspect of you of no matter what comes my way, I can check in with me and we can navigate that course because you can. I promise you, you can. If you're hearing this, you can. Is, is navigating a course you've never been down before terrifying? Uh-huh. Is it something that you don't wanna do on a regular basis? I know, me either. But is it presenting itself and is it really the only option we have is to face it or to suck it up and be miserable? Yeah. And you're not alone in this kind of feeling like life continues to just press on, you know? It's just showing up like, hey girl, hey boy, it's me again, hi, yeah. What are you gonna do about this one? What are you gonna do about that one? And it's like, can I catch up, break? In a sense, you addressing your shit is giving yourself a break because you're gonna know yourself better. You're gonna know where that line in the sand is. You're gonna know that Going against myself, not listening to myself, not standing up for myself is self-betrayal and I'm not down for that anymore. You're capable of this, but it's, it's deciding that I wanna feel better and in all healing, to be honest, has, has pain involved in it. And I've had so many different people say like, it doesn't always have to be that painful. Sure, sure, but there is always some pain involved in healing. When you have a fever, it sucks to have that fever spike, but it, it's burning off what it needs to burn off. When you have a, a wound, a, like a, a real deep cut that's infected, like it sucks to get that cleaned out, but it, it's better afterwards. Everything kind of gets worse before it gets better. So if you're feeling you're at your peak, that means things are gonna take a turn, but you have to be an active participant. You cannot just be an innocent bystander of life. You are participating in this. When you were born, you went, hey, I'm here, I'm all in. I'm, I'm gonna live and I'm going to die. That is the contract I signed. So you're in this. How do you wanna play the game? How do you wanna be showing up? for yourself, for your babies, for your grandbabies, for like, how do you wanna show up? Who are you going to be in this life? And that's an ever-changing answer, right? Life really calls forth different aspects of you at all the different phases. But you are a wonderful being with so many skills and unique, innate abilities. You're undermining yourself in so many areas and that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. But you're capable of facing what you're going through. Maybe you need outside help. Maybe you need a little alone time. I have a hair, you know, like a hair is tickling you. But you are capable of, of facing what you're facing. And more than anything, you know, yes, solutions are fantastic. It feels so good. You're like, ah, there it is. But a step before that, if the solution feels way far away, and uh, a feeling that is really wonderful is the clarity that 
uh, I need to make a change. I mean, that alone whew, lifts a weight. Thank you for showing up as always, much appreciated. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Take good care of you. And I wanted to share that I'm going to be taking Reiki 2 students October into mid-November. So if you are Reiki 1, whether it's from me or anybody else, and you feel called to go to the next level with the symbols and the distant healings, then let me know and we will set something up. Have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whenever you're tuning into this. And again, thank you so much for showing up again. Thank you.